Where are you from? I'm from Cliffside Park, New Jersey. Yeah, give it up. How about Cliffside Park? Anybody? Okay, Cliffside good. in the house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, James, what's your one random question to the boys? All right, my one random question is still a sports question. So I want you to picture this. It's the bottom of the ninth inning in Game 7 of the World Series at Yankee Stadium, and there's a can of corn pop up right to right field. Juan Soto's under it, and he drops the ball. Okay. BT, are you still re-signing him to a 10-year, $500 million deal after he just blew the World Series against probably the Phillies or the Braves? No, no, I'm going to sign him to a 12 or 13-year deal, you knucklehead. I don't care if he drops it. And by the way, I don't care if he hits 112 in the World Series before he drops the pop-up. Juan Soto's in the Bronx, and that's where he's staying. Yeah. And, and, and Let's just, go! And just to, just to further, just to further that Woo. point... If there was a pop Thanks, up, brother. if there was a pop up to Juan Soto in right field in Yankee Stadium, yeah, it would yeah. of course be a home run. <laughs> because everything <laughs> that's popped up to there right field go. goes out of that ballpark. <laughs> uh, by the way, I don't know if you caught his Met 1986 hat. So good job, by the way. I like uh, it. E, we got Eloy. Eloy, where are you from? I'm from Long Branch. Let's go Long Branch. Branch. All right, Eloy, what's your one random question? My one random question for the guys is like this. I don't know if you guys are superstitious or not. But I'm obviously a Nick and Yankee fan. Mm-hmm. So now when the Knicks were in the playoffs and everything, the Yankees, were, I didn't play, play much attention to them at all. It was all Knicks. Now, now when the – and then that's obviously when the Knicks went on – the Yankees were on their major run and everything. Mm-hmm. Now that I tuned back into the Yankees, they, they, they started losing these past two games and everything. And I didn't get – I didn't ch- watch the two that they won just now. Hey, have we got a random question in here or are we doing so, a soliloquy? So, Let's go. Step on so the gas, buddy. You, <laughs> So my question is like this. My question is like this. Oh, he's getting heckled. Am, am, am I, if I don't watch the Yankees and everything, yeah. am I the, am I like the making them win and everything? Am huh. I super? So the opposite of a mush? Win? Sal, yeah. why don't you take that is, uh, is there such rather thing, convoluted question? Yeah, I'll clean it up a little bit for our friend Eli. <laughs> is there such Thanks, thing Eli. as a jinx? The, the answer is absolutely not. There is no whether you watch the games or not, the results are still going to play out the way that they are. Just as if if we were to predict something, I don't know, like let's say the NL East is over a couple oh, years ago. Oh yeah! I didn't blow that division. The Mets did. So no, you have nothing to do with that. And whatever you say, whatever you do, don't worry about it. Watch your games. The Yankees will start winning. Yeah, you 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 do you because I agree. Even Boomer with his ridiculous nonsense, don't touch the cup, touch the cup, touch the money, whatever. <laughs> we have zero impact. We think we do. We have none. Well, thank you, Eloy. Listen, Thanks, Eloy. Thank you. I gotta be honest. My mother hasn't watched a single Ranger game yet because she thinks Thanks, she's brother. jinxing them when they watch. She watches the game. So I told her if she wants to watch anything in the playoffs, she's got to watch now. They might not be in the Stanley Cup. Oh, right, we got Jose. Jose, right. Jose, 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 New Jersey. Jose from Elizabeth, New Jersey. Stand up, Elizabeth. All right, Jose. What's your one random question? My random question to the guys is: Should the Knicks trade Julius Randle, and why? And why not? This is a divisive topic. There's a tough one. This is it's a first all right, so so if you think that they should trade him, let me hear something. You guys are wrong. All right. If you think they should not trade him, let me hear a little something. All right, I, I there mean that, we go. That, that's about 50-50. Honestly, I am of the mindset. Which makes sense. I'm of the mindset. Now, I'm not looking to give him away. I've got great respect for Randall. He's a terrific player, and he's helped get the Knicks to this point, right? But I'm not giving him another contract. That's number one. And he's a year away from that because he's going to opt out after this year. So when you look at the future, somebody like Randall, you've got to incorporate the money. I think they're going to trade Randall. And if I ran the Knicks, that, that's what I would do as well. You would trade Randall? I would. And for what? Well, again, I've got to see. I don't. I'm not. I thought here's. They were, I thought they would do it this summer, but I don't know that there's a disgruntled superstar yet. Thank you very much, buddy. Appreciate you asking the questions. I, I'm. I have no problem going into the season with Julius Randle because he's definitely an asset. And then when somebody and it's the NBA and somebody's going to start bitching about something, when that disgruntled star comes available, bang, pounce. The New York Knicks, after they traded for Ananobi were playing like the best team in the NBA. Now, it was a short period of time before yeah. everybody started to get hurt, but with Brunson, Randall, Ananobi, they were as good as anybody in the NBA. You cannot move on from that until you see definitively that it's not good enough. 
they're going to have to start the season with that trio, bring back Ananobi and keep Julius Randle, and then from there make a decision based on how they play from the start of the season up until the trade deadline. Just like they added Ananobi midseason this year, yeah. and just like they traded – that's a major trade with R.J. Barrett quickly going the other way. They could do the same thing in season with Julius Randle, moving him if they want to. I'm bringing them all back because I don't think that there's an answer out there. Now, obviously, if Devin Booker's available and the Suns say, hey, we want Randle now, mm-hmm. then that's something you'd have to do. Yep. But other than that, BT, I want to see what this team with Randall and Anobi healthy, along with Jalen Brunson, how far they could actually go together. I, I get that, too, and I do respect that part. Like this, usually when, when, when you have a situation like this, it's like, from our perspective, 